happy June 1st, everyone. Uh, we are halfway through gamer education. Uh, this will be the sixth month, and yes. this month is Mike's picks because I can't deal with him changing them anymore. Can't give you six more months to change your mind. No, continually. because you will. He even told me I could laminate this list. He, Bullshit. I <laughs> would spend a small fortune on The reason on why we're saying this is when Jen started this all back in January, uh -huh. uh, we never, we, we asked a bunch of people, give us your picks, but we didn't nail anybody down on what month we were going to do their picks on. No. So, Mike, I swear, has been giving you new picks every month, if not at the first, was every couple weeks or something. Yep. And to that point... We're going to name off all his picks. We're going to name off all his picks. <laughs> his first set of picks, and, and I don't even have all... Is he it, changed it. Three picks, Mike. Three... Pick three games. Three games. Jan will pick one. He changed the list six or seven yeah. times, but would rotate some of the old games and throw in some new ones. Mm -hmm. And I swear, one time he went completely back to one set. Either way, his first three picks were Final Fantasy II on the SNES, Resident Evil One, GameCube, and Castlevania One, obviously on NES. And then they changed again, and again, and again, and again. But I'll just give you the list. Castlevania 3 NES, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. He said at one point when he was over here, and I was like, you just don't even like me now at this point because I hear they're hard. And then he finally gave me his actual picks, which are Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Resident Evil 4, and Dark Souls 3. I haven't played it. And then... And then, and then said, in the same message, in the same message. <laughs> but if I could add an extra three, like it's hard to pick three, I would also say Final Fantasy VI, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, and Dragon Quest V. So I am going to go with the three he said were his picks. Here, laminate it. It's done. It's laminated. It's mentally laminated. It's done. We're not changing them. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Resident Evil Four, Dark Souls Three. And what's your pick? <sighs> We were just talking about this beforehand. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and here's the problem with You've come why. prepared. I came prepared. Here's the problem with get rid of, of why. I know Castlevania Symphony of the Night is iconic. Yes. And it is on everybody's hit list. Yes. And I'm going to give a little um, tidbit of information away. It isn't coming in the mail. It's a Father's Day gift. Who's your daddy? <laughs> and what do you do? <laughs> so anyways, yes, I got it for a really good deal from, and we'll talk about that in a pickup, but I got it from an eBay seller. Yeah. Gave me a great deal. So I will mention him in the next, uh, in that pickup video. But, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leaning there. However, I really love Resident Evil and I've played love number two. the franchise. I do. You played you played the original yes, number I did. two on PlayStation. Yep. Then. And I played that as part of your of your picks, but I didn't get a video out for because the yeah. Last of Us was such such a big video. Yeah. And then um, you've watched me play through Resident Evil Three Remake. Yes. And we. And I remember watching my brother started, play them. Yeah. Too we when started was, Resident yeah. Evil Four, so you actually know what you're getting into because. Yes. I actually have a copy really nice. of Resident. Here's a question: If if this is your pick. Yeah. Box, yeah. If it is, we can play it on PS2, and we can play it on Xbox One. Ooh. Right now. Um. I am also looking for a copy of it on GameCube. Yeah. And that they're not that expensive, so I can get one really easy. So, I'm Mike, tempted to play what, it. what platform did you play it on? Uh, you know what? I am noticing that I, I know there's like a divide in the world. You're either you're an Xbox fan or you're a PlayStation fan. And I'm noticing I'm a PlayStation fan. I love PlayStation. Started off PlayStation. We ended up getting a 360, yeah. and I did play it a lot, but I was always ticked off about how poorly it was made, and the red rings, yeah. and this and that, but it had a great library. Oh yeah. 
Um, then later, later on, we had actually got a PS3 mm -hmm. that was junk, and I fixed it, and that's where we played Last of Us. So yeah. that is what kind of yeah. sentimental, sentimental to that machine. Then we picked up a PS4 Pro at Christmas, just this last yeah. Christmas. And I've been playing and the I, holy bejesus out of it. I don't think I barely turned on my Xbox I know. since. I know. So, we'll see. I'm thinking, and I, I want to, I kind of want to stress myself and not play the same thing all the time. However, I really enjoyed what I had seen that just the startup of Resident Evil 4, and I'm yep. leaning there. You're leaning there? But that being said, and I do want to play Castlevania at some point. I will play it on my own. Um, I think... Mike's a huge Dark Souls fan. Oh, I know. Here's what I'm going to do. I get an extra... I get a week off at Christmas. I take an extra week off. <clears throat> and I am thinking I need more education before I try Dark Souls 3. So you're going to... My plan is to tackle this with whoever has December's picks, I'm also going to play Dark Souls 3 by the end of the year. You better pick picks or a game that is not going to be time consuming for yeah. December if you're trying to get yeah. that in there. Yeah. Um, so. But, or, I just, I need more time. I feel like that's going to be a hard game and I need more time to get there. But I have been playing a lot of games. I've played more games than you have. Oh, it's been ridiculous. Yeah. Here. This year, since you started this, you've yeah. been a gameaholic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're up to what, 13 games? Yeah, 13, 14 yeah. games, something like that yeah. for the entire year. Yeah, like finished. Yeah. 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 I've yeah. found a big love for the Uncharted series. I'm on yes. the second, and I'm almost on that one. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think I'd like to do Resident Evil 4, and put a pin in Dark Souls 3 and do that by the end of the year. Yeah, don't touch Symphony of the Night. I think I would just enjoy playing that right. at some point. I'll play it, Mike. When it comes in the mail, I'll play it. But... He'll play it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, yeah, you can't change your picks anymore, Mike. This is your pick. Locked in. You're locked in. Everybody knows now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But I can't believe we're halfway through. And I have learned a lot. I feel You're enjoying it more than I am it. enjoying it. I sit down. And we were, we all got to get out of this quarantine situation a week ago. Yeah. One of our favorite um, breweries, or not brewery, but I guess like, yeah, yeah brew pubs kind of. They're they, a pub with a brewery, they brew their own beer. Yeah, right? they opened back up and so me and Scott and Dennis got to sit down and uh, talk games and I was like, oh my god, I can actually talk with people about games now. Like, I really have some knowledge. And, well, what I told you then was, it's fun when you have a passion or, or you you really enjoy the game and then you meet somebody else that really liked it too and then you get the talk. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's the same as when people, you know, you, know, you see a movie and then you start comparing well, what your thoughts mm -hmm. were on movies. It's the same thing. It's just with games. Yeah. I the only thing I felt bad for was that you were sitting at the table and you hadn't played it yet. And I was like oh. All the uncharted? Yeah, I'm like, wish Scott yeah. could talk about games with us too. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. didn't play it yet. I haven't touched that one yet. Yeah, but you'll um, have to. Well yeah, if you ever let me have my PS4 back. No. Mm. Well, I'll have to get my own. Yeah. yeah. You buy that for me for my birthday. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I know. You'll just get it for me because you love me. Mm -hmm. But anywho, we're uh, yeah halfway through. All right, um, I know you're forgetting something. I am forgetting something. You only have eleven months of the twelve filled. I do. And you've been waiting for another gamer girl. I have. And wanting to ask them. And I know there's lots of gamer girls out there. I wanted somebody that could talk the spectrum and I think I found that person and I haven't formally asked her yet. So I guess I'm kind of asking Not her to on put this any video. Pressure, no pressure on you. Um, we just recently started following a YouTuber of the name Gamer Aimer. She has a massive, amazing collection. Awesome collection. And awesome collection. she knows her stuff. Yep. And 
I figure if I'm going to learn from a gamer girl, I want to learn from one of the best. And I would really enjoy if you could give me three picks of games that you think are iconic, must play games, or games that you really enjoy playing. And, well, that's probably the same. Exactly, you know? exactly. Games that you think every gamer should play, and I will pick at least one of them. Some months I've been picking more, depending on how much time I have. Yeah, like, yeah. you actually did. I think the only person that you actually played all three games for was for Denver, Denver Gamer. Gamer. I played two yeah. of yours. But then I've been playing, Dennis has been making me play games. He's like, play this game, play that game. <laughs> so I've been playing games all through the year. But yeah. yeah, we still have Phil's games to come. Our buddy Phil. Yep. Mitch, you've seen Mitch on here before. Mm -hmm. Alex is going to give me three picks. Yes. Uh, Modane Designs, he's uh, somebody that follows us on YouTube, friend of ours. Uh, and my brother still has to give me his picks or I think he gave me his picks I just don't have them no right I remember he gave you his picks but though all those games were super expensive we'd have to play them yeah emulate emulate it. it yeah yeah so yeah we still have them coming up we haven't forgot about them we just I can't cram 12 months of games into one month although I have been trying like this so. yeah. pandemic pandemic all right that's it that's all yeah I'll just keep talking about games because I love them now <laughs> <laughs> even more so all right you want to do your patented? Bye! No, I'm just going to say, until next time. Tame. No, time. Next time. Tame. Until next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!